Hey everybody, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're doing the one you've been waiting for. The freeze dried comparison of the year. The Harvest Right freeze dryer versus Trader Joe's freeze dried strawberries. Trader Joe's freeze dried pineapple and Trader Joe's freeze dried So today we're going to continue the Harvest Right versus series and we're going to take the Harvest Right freeze dryer versus Trader Joe's coming up. So first off, I want to get something off my chest. I was lied to. I've been sitting on this freeze-dried food for a while now, um, just waiting to make this video, and I picked up the pineapple and I was extremely disappointed because this was advertised as freeze-dried pineapple, but now that I'm looking at it, it just says dried baby sweet pineapple. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to freeze dry my pineapple and we'll still compare it. So first off, I think I'm just going to stick to the routine just like I did in the last video because there's going to be a lot of Harvest Right versus videos coming up. If you haven't seen the last video, I did Harvest Right versus Aldi freeze dried, which their brand is called Simply Nature. Trader Joe's and Aldi, they, they, have, they share something. One of them owns the other. I can't remember which. So there's probably a lot of similarities to these. And if you haven't seen the Aldi's video, I'll put a link right here and then I'll put it down in the description too. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what all of these look like. We're gonna weigh them, and then we're gonna cut up our fresh stuff that's going in the harvest right. So there, our scale is zeroed out. And let's do these strawberries first. So this is supposed to be 1.2 ounces, and it's right on the button. So good job, Trader Joe's. So the first thing that I notice, exactly like the Aldi's, the strawberries are not super appealing looking. They kind of just look like shriveled up strawberries. And shortly after I did the Aldi's video and I kind of said the same thing where the strawberries were real shriveled up, a lot of you commented and said that a lot of these companies will dehydrate them first and then freeze dry them, which makes a whole lot of sense because these look a lot more like dehydrated strawberries than freeze dried. So to keep this fair, we've got the weight, 1.2 ounces, and I want to keep these fresh as fresh as we possibly can, just so we have a, a fair comparison. So I'm going to actually take this bag and I'm going to seal it back up. So it's just like it was right before we opened it. And we'll keep this one and all the other ones we do today on standby. So before I write these strawberries off for a couple days, I do want to make sure that we check out the ingredients and make sure that they are in fact only strawberries because that's all we're doing is just plain strawberries. So for the cost of these, it's a little bit tricky. Um, the average I found was about $6.83. And then we're gonna use that cost breakdown at the end of the video to break down what you're paying per ounce for the store-bought freeze-dried from Trader Joe's versus the Harvest Right fresh fruit in the freeze dryer. So that means I need to cut up these strawberries, which were two for $5. I'm going to fill up a tray and then we'll move on to the pineapple. And since I made the first video, the one thing that I, that I love about having a YouTube channel and just a, a strong community of people who are freeze drying is that anything that I, that I forget to mention or, you know, things that need to be addressed, people let you know. And I really love my freeze dryer, but I don't love it so much that I'm just going to mislead people on what things cost. So after I made the Aldi freeze dried video, um, there was a couple things that kept coming up in the comments. The first was that I should include the cost of freezing the stuff before I put it into the freeze dryer. And to be fair to Trader Joe's or Aldi or whoever I'm comparing this to, um, you know, they're paying to do that. So I might as well be including that into my cost. So I'm gonna change that in this video. I'm actually gonna do the entire cycle of the Harvest Right, which will include the freezing also. The second thing that came up in the comments section a lot is that I, I didn't include the cost of packaging. So I'm gonna do that as well later in the video when we get to the packaging part. Okay, there's our empty tray. It's zeroed out. Two pounds, two ounces is what we end up with. So let's get to our pineapple. And I have kind of a fun idea. Since my pineapple is dried and not freeze dried, and the point of this video is to compare freeze dried, I'm gonna see if I can make freeze dried pineapple from home cheaper than you can buy dried pineapple, which obviously is a lot less expensive than freeze dried pineapple. And keep in mind, this is six ounces of dried pineapple. There's still moisture in here. It's heavy, it's squishy still. But if we can make six ounces of freeze dried pineapple, which is gonna be, the quantity is gonna be lots and lots more, 
for the same price as dried pineapple, that'd be really something. So it is six ounces pineapple and that's it. First impressions, they don't look real appetizing. And if you didn't know that the package said pineapple on it, I don't even know if you would know this is pineapple. And you can also notice they all look the same. It looks like this is probably either the very top or the very bottom of a pineapple. So once again, just like the Aldi video, this is probably seconds. Uh, it's probably after they've processed the pineapple for whatever they're going to do with it, they take just the little bits and pieces or the, the less desirable parts and they use those for the dried and the freeze dried. All right, let's seal this back up. $8.99. That's the cheapest price I can find for this. Usually you have to buy them in a pack of three, but $8.99 for six ounces. This is not even freeze dried. It's only dried, which means it's, it's really not even dehydrated. It's just sort of halfway dried. Let's see if we can do better than that. So I live in a rural area and finding pineapple is fresh pineapple is not super easy to do, but I did find a couple of packages. One's $4.44 and one was $3.86. And that should be enough to fill up this tray. So it looks like we've got two pounds, 12 ounces. Our cost for the fresh pineapple is gonna be $8.30. And I'm just gonna let this hang out by the strawberries and thaw out just a little bit so we can spread that out through the tray. Let's do the blueberries. The cheapest I could find these blueberries was $6.99. That was if you buy two of these packages. This is supposed to be 1.2 ounces. And it looks like we got a little bonus of, oh, there, it dropped down to 1.2. Well done, Trader Joe's. So these are actually the best looking freeze dried fruits that I have seen that were store bought. Um, the blueberries look very comparable to what our finished product is going to look like that I've, I've seen at least. Freeze dried blueberries for the ingredients. We'll seal these back up. They can join their friends. We'll weigh this whole tray full of blueberries. And normally, normally I would blitz these, which means you just kind of throw them and throw them in a food processor and just cut the sides. But seeing as how the Trader Joe's ones, they, they look like they're whole. They don't look like they were cut. So we're just gonna go right into the freeze dryer with them this way. I'm gonna do two trays. So I think for this fourth tray, just to keep everything fair, I'm gonna blitz these blueberries for the fourth tray, but I'm gonna keep the same weight as the other one. So we need three pounds, 12 ounces. That's including the tray weight. And I bought these blueberries in bulk. This was a 10 pound box. It was $25 for the box. So these blueberries, including the ones that just went on the floor, are $2.50 per pound. All right, there it is. So normally I don't tend to mess with the de default uh, settings on the freeze dryer. However, pineapple is very wet. Uh, blueberries are also very wet. Strawberries, also very wet. So I'm gonna take the final dry up to 12 hours. And in order to do that, you just go on your main screen, just hit customize go to adjust time, and then use your arrows and go up to final dry of 12 hours. But before I hit start on the cycle, I'm gonna reset the, the generic kilowatt machine. And what this is gonna do is basically just give us a running total of kilowatt hours and how much electricity we've used so we can get a fair cost analysis. I'm plugging in the harvest right. Our hours are at zero. We're hitting start, non-liquid, not frozen. We'll put our blueberries on the bottom strawberries on the third shelf and our pineapple chunks at the very top. So while we're waiting for this to get done, take a minute to subscribe if you've never been to the channel or if you want to learn about freeze drying, click a bell to get notifications. That'll let you know when new videos come out. Uh, we release a video once a week, every Sunday. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and we'll see you in a little bit when these are done. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, join the Facebook page if you, uh, if you want even more information on freeze drying. See you in a minute. All right, we just finished up. Let's check out our kilowatt meter. And it looks like we're at 34 kilowatt hours. So if you average that out, I think the nationwide average is about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. It's about $3.40. And our process took about 48 hours and 21 minutes. But I think what you're probably most concerned about is how the finished product turned out. These turned out awesome, let's take a look at them. First thing you'll notice, huge, huge quality difference. 
So I'm gonna get a quick weight on all of these and then we're gonna do a taste test and then we'll break down the cost. So that big heaping tray of strawberries ended up only being three ounces after it's freeze dried. It takes a whole lot of strawberries to make a lot of freeze dried strawberries. And the strawberries are just one of those things. It just turns out perfect every time. Let's try the pineapple. So this is exactly what I was looking for. It's 6.6 .6 ounces. And we were trying to get freeze dried pineapple for the same price as dried pineapple. And it's gonna be really close because we've got six ounces. The cost of the pineapple was almost the same price as what we paid for the whole bag of Trader Joe's. So really the only difference is gonna be electricity cost. And freeze dried pineapple is just like you think it would be. It's, uh, it's really good, it's very sweet. But if you think about the difference between the dried pineapple and the freeze dried pineapple, it's huge because the freeze dried pineapple has zero water weight. So the weight of one piece of this compared to a dried pineapple is gonna be way different. In fact, why don't we find out? And we'll actually have to go to grams because the measurement's gonna be pretty small. So we've got eight grams on the dried pineapple and the freeze dried is two grams. So it's basically a quarter of the weight Okay, last we've got our two blueberry trays. The first one is one pound, let's call it two pounds. And remember that's with the weight of the tray in there. Both trays were the same weight when we started, so it looks like they still are two pounds, which makes sense. So if you remember, I was a little bit concerned about these whole blueberries because there's not necessarily a great place for moisture to escape out of them. They seem like they, they all got pretty dry. There's a couple that are, not totally dry. Uh, it looks like almost like jam or jelly. I always like to blitz them. When you blitz them, they just get super dry and exactly the way you want them to. The taste of freeze dried blueberries is incredible. In fact, the three things that I freeze dried today are like my, my three favorite fruits to freeze dry. And they're also the three most expensive that you can buy at the store. So now let's do a side by side comparison of these, including cost. Strawberries first. When you get close to them, you can really see the difference between the harvest right, they look fresh, and the dried up mess. That's Trader Joe's. The alleged freeze dried, they're actually dried pineapples. Um, they're really brown, they're mushy. They're seconds or just discarded parts from the factory. I mean, look at the, look at the comparison of that brown and and the nice golden color. And then last we've got our blueberries, which I think they were, look, they were looking pretty good. Um, comparison next to each other, they look very similar, but I still think that the Harvest Right wins out on the, on the cosmetic. So let's get into what really matters, and that's the cost comparison. Because I realized that if you're gonna spend two to $3,000 on a Harvest Right, all the results need to really add up. So let's start off with the strawberries. So the food cost for the strawberries were $5. Those containers were two for $5. Our electric costs were 84 cents per tray. Our total cost was $3.40 and that's for all four trays. So that actually gives you $5.84. You're gonna divide that by two and a half so you can figure out the 1.2 ounce conversion. That's gonna give you $2.33. And then you're gonna add the, uh, the 25 cents on for the packaging. That means for a Harvest Right home freeze dried version, you're paying $2.58. In comparison to the $6.83 from Trader Joe's. On the pineapple, we had $8.30 of food material. We had our 85 cents per tray for our electrical costs. And then our finished freeze dried product was 6.6 .6 ounces. And I'm just gonna call that a wash because this is a huge underdog anyhow. So we'll add in our 25 cents in materials, which gives us a total of $9.40. But keep in mind that that freeze-dried pineapple weighed a quarter of what the dried pineapple weighed. So I saved the best for last. And the blueberries, we had $5.31 in food materials. Uh, the electricity was 84 cents again. And then if you take that $6.15, divide that by 3.33, that will give you our 1.2 ounce conversion. If you add on the 25 cents for packaging, that means we really put a whooping on Trader Joe's because that means you can home freeze dry a 1.2 ounce package for $2.12. All right, that's it for today, guys. It looks like Harvest Right just gave an uppercut 
to uh, all the competition once again. Sorry for taking up so much of your time today, but I just really wanted to make sure that I covered all my bases. In the meantime, Mr. Retired at 40, remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.